it's running quite well on Windows 11 24H2. This Dell Optiplex, this thing came with Windows 7 and it's running on Windows 11 24H2. And it's running just perfectly fine. And it's the CPU is just going high and it went down and. And it's running quite smoothly. And now it's just running. Considering that Intel i5 was. Um, came out and either it could have been around the 2008 sort of thing. And it's running quite smoothly. So. And now it's running on, um, and I've got some, well, I ordered some RAM off of eBay for $32 and I went and grabbed four, it equals 64. And it'll be, no, I got two, four, eight gig of RAM and then you add the two, eight gig and another two, eight gig. And 16 by 16 would be 32 gig of RAM. And it's actually quite great for Minecraft, and I've also set a performance, it is running quite well considering. Considering this came out, would have been, I believe, to be either 2011 or 2012, I think. And then, it's running just perfectly fine. And now it's running smoothly. Now it's running quite, um, and now I'm just installing drivers. See, it's running smoothly, and then I'll go on. I finally got this Windows 11 24H2 installed on this unsupported highway. And I'm doing some pretty heavy gaming on it. Um, now it's running quite smoothly, considering it is unsupported. Yeah, it's opening up my browser very quickly. And Now it's going to be running quite smoothly, so what I'm going to be doing now is actually we've also got Microsoft 365 still there when I had Windows 10 installed. Now it's running. I've also did an in place. And this is my first bigger desktop I've ever purchased. And I've got something that was cheaper to get an older desktop. So what I did is I, this thing now has two SSDs in there. And 
It's got an Intel i5. I'm I um I'm checking out the um, CPU um Z is the application I use to check my CPU. And this thing, this processor does actually support SSE 4.2 and it actually supports top CMT and it's running just perfectly fine. And um, I'll see you in the next one.